hasn't it? Well, I just wanted to talk to you about some of the things I dealt with in my past. A lot of times people wonder, why are you so hung up on God? What is the big deal? So what? You go to church. Okay, you gave your heart to the Lord. What's so exciting about that? You know, I will tell you, I spent my young adult years partying hearty, okay? And I pretty much did not everything, but almost everything I was big and bad enough to do. And let me tell you, I could be rocking, I could be shaking the bootay in the club all night long. And I felt empty, empty, empty. I felt dead. I felt disgusted. I couldn't figure out what the heck was I even doing here. And who the heck played that joke on me in the first place? Why was I born? Who even wasted the effort and the time to put me together and place me on this earth? For what? I was so full of disillusionment self-hatred, sorrow, anger, hurt, the list goes on and on ad infinitum. And let me tell you, that is a miserable existence, baby. You could be out there getting high, partying loud, laughing loud, talking loud, saying nothing, and being about nothing. And you trying to convince yourself you having a good time. Well, guess what? I'm here to tell you. You may think you're having a good time. It may seem like it's better than being bored. Hmm. There is so much more to life. So much more to feel. Just feeling alive is worth giving God a try. Just feeling like you're actually loved like you're worth something, like you're here for a purpose. There's some significance to you after all. Unless you have experienced it, you don't know what you're missing. Have you ever seen people who were born blind or born deaf or hard of hearing or maybe born without legs or limbs? Well, guess what? They may see what other people get to do or hear about it or whatever it is they, they get to perceive. They can't do it themselves. They never have been able to. And they don't know what they're missing. But if they get healed and all of a sudden they can see what they never saw before or they can hear what they never heard before, I bet you they wouldn't want to go back to being blind, hard of hearing, deaf, or crippled. And that doesn't take a rocket science to figure that one out. That's the reason you guys see so many Christians walking around saying, God is the answer. Jesus is it, baby. Because all that nonsense, all that BS, and all that acting, and all them little masks you putting on out there trying to get him to like you and her to want you and, 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 and getting in with the in crowd and hooking up with all the folks with the inside scoop. They ain't about no more than you are. And you're all trying to impress each other. It's like a bunch of one-year-olds trying to impress a bunch of uh, six-month-old babies. None of y'all can do diddly squat for any of you. You might be able to lay in the hay or get high or buy yourself some crack or, or get you a good drink, but you cannot feel alive. You cannot heal each other's hearts. You can't take away each other's pain. You guys can't make each other feel like you're loved, really loved, because that real love comes from a real big God, because he is God. As much as you don't want to hear it, as much as you don't want to deal with the church thing and you don't want to hear all that preaching and all that high and mighty, 
It ain't high and mighty. God and all his holy and righteousness is right down here in the middle of our mess trying to save our behinds from ourselves mostly. And if you would just give him a chance, you would say, my God, what the heck was I waiting for? What was I holding on for? Nothing. And you don't know it because you never had it. But once you have it, you don't want to go back. You don't want to reach back and pick up a bunch of junk. You know what it's like? It, it's a cheap uh, version. It's a, it's, it's a cheap interpretation of what I'm trying to explain. But if you've ever seen pure, beautiful, rich, high quality, 18 karat or 24 karat gold, and then somebody shows you um, imitation gold. Imitation gold looks cheesy, looks looks uh, brassy, and, and it looks cheap. It just looks cheap. You compare it to real gold, you put them side by side. You'll be able to know the difference, even if you're not used to seeing a lot of real jewelry. Because the real deal, there's just something about it. It's something deep down in your gut. You know it's real. When you experience God, nobody has to tell you that's God you're feeling. You know it. No interpretation is necessary. You know it. And when you become one with God, you don't want any imitations. You don't want any reasonable facsimiles because there are none. Not compared to God. All I can ask you is with all your doubts, all your reservations, all your, your inhibitions and your fears, please, no matter how much you've been disillusioned or disappointed by life and people in it, whatever you do, or even yourself, give God a try. Give him one good try. Give him a month. Just give him one solid month and say, okay, I need you to prove yourself to me. Not that I'm worth it. Worth it. Not that I'm worthy of your efforts, but I need you to prove yourself to me because everything I've seen in my life has been a farce and, a, and, a, and an imitation. I want to see what the real thing really is. And if you really are real, if you are the real deal and I experience you in any way, shape, or form, it's in for life. I'm not going to turn back to the imitations. Give them a try, please. You will be, you, your heart will thank you. You will thank you. You will thank God for the fact that he even took the time. I'm telling you, it is such a difference. Even if my life goes gets flipped upside down, if all hell breaks loose, I would rather be in God's hands and in his care and on his good side going through hell than going through hell by myself on this earth. It's not worth it, y'all. It's too hopeless. It's too hopeless. But when you know God is not only pulling for you, but he's working out all the details in your favor, you'd be a fool not to give him a try. I'm not calling you a fool. Check him out. That's all I got to say. I'm done. I'm done talking. I'm done convincing and I'm done twisting your arm. God bless you. Give him a shot. The best thing, the best high, baby, you'll ever have. Better than sex. Trust me. And I love me some sex. Better than sex. I know I'm being silly. Better than sex, y'all. Okay. Give him a shot. God is beautifully. He is, he loves beautifully. He gives beautifully. He's, he's endless in his favor. I mean, the sky is the limit. Just check him out. God is beautiful. He's my best friend. Amen.